For a long time now, we've thought that Stonehenge sure seems to be some sort of ancient calendar, since it aligns with the summer and winter solstices so nicely. But we've never known exactly how it worked. Now, a new analysis proposes a theory about that. Professor Tim Darville at Bournemouth University in the UK conducted the analysis and told New Scientist that Stonehenge might have functioned as a solar calendar much like many other impressive solar calendars throughout the millennia. Egypt had one. You know, calendars that track the days of the year based on where the sun is in the sky. So, Professor Darville says he might know exactly how Stonehenge did that. You see, the stones of Stonehenge are arranged in three formations. 30 of them formed the large circle, four station stones were placed in a rectangular formation outside the circle, and the rest of the stones were constructed into five trilithons, those parts with the two vertical stones and the other one laying on top horizontally. Darville contends those three numbers, 30, 5, and 4, are all interesting from a calendrical kind of sense. Yeah, that's a word, calendrical. 30 for days in a month, obviously. Multiply that by 12 months and you get 360. Then add the five for the trilithons and you get 365. He also thinks the four station stones could have been used to keep track of the whole leap day thing, which the ancient Egyptians actually did not account for. Yeah, that's right, their calendar was a little bunk. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So, Darvel's new analysis might very well explain just how Stonehenge functioned as a calendar. To which other scientists say, no duh. That's like the obvious explanation, they say. Others have been kinder, saying Darville's theory actually has an elegant simplicity about it. Still others say they aren't too sure about Darville's explanation for the two uprights in a trilithon equaling just one day when single stones are used otherwise. And, of course, others are just hoping there's something more interesting about the place going on. Of course, there has already been evidence unearthed of at least one man being sacrificed there. And there have been countless theories about how Stonehenge was a gruesome ritual site where people came and wigged out like some sort of ancient Coachella where everybody had a bad drip. Yeah, there has been more interesting theories about Stonehenge, all right. And after thinking about it, I think I'll just stick with it being a calendar. A nice, useful calendar that never hurt anyone. It just helped people get to their meetings on time. And now people like to go there and be nice, happy hippies. There's no bloody murders going on there. Nope, just a nice, nice calendar. Yep, I think that's the Stonehenge for me.